Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm a leadership and executive coach, and welcome to this week's video blog post. So I want to continue my conversation a little bit about um, quiet quitting, diversity, equity, and inclusion, psychological safety. And in my last video, I asked about how are your decisions as a leader aligned with your stated mission? So as an organization, number one, do you have a mission statement? Do you have a value statement? And even just for your own department, for your own area, do you have a value statement for your department or your area of responsibility? Do you have your own values? Do you know your own values like that? I worked with, I was coaching an individual not that long ago when I asked him what his values were. He just knew them. And then there are other people that go, oh, I haven't worked on that for a while. And my guess is most people haven't worked on them for a while. So what are your personal values? And then do you have values for your team? So one of the exercises I just had one of my clients do was I had them do an uh, in one of the team meetings, have those individuals come up with their own five core values. And in this case, they use the values cards from the leadership challenge, Cousins and Puzzles leadership challenge. But you can find a number of resources online to help develop, uh, determine what your values are. So she had a team, four people, come up with what their five core values were, had it errors in there, and then she took a look and see where there were um, alignments. Like what were the themes, were the common values? And using those, she pulled those out with her team and came up with five core values for the team. Great, you've got those five core values. Now post them, talk about them, share them. Um, when somebody does something um, in, as a team member, you notice them doing something well, tie it to the value, okay? Catch them doing something that's tied to the value and then bring that up. Then the other thing I su suggested with her is, what about a mission statement for your team? Can you use those values and put together with your team, put together a mission statement? It may be similar to your organizations or it could be very different, but it's for you. Engaging them, that's one way of um, helping your team become involved and so it helps you dis uh, align your decisions with your stated mission. Thanks for watching this week and we'll uh, see you again next week.